Lord, I look a hot mess this morning, don't I? It's okay. What's that hanging for, Nelson? That's my bra strap, oh. That's my bra strap. You know how you got some loose, old, raggedy panties that you wear during your menstrual period? I, too, got some of these old, raggedy bras that I wear to go to sleep because I don't like to wear my good quality bras and go to sleep and they get weak. But these old, raggedy ones, when I wear them, go to sleep, wake up in the morning, this is some of the things that happen to them all. So let me talk about it because some of y'all, y'all got laser vision. Y'all will pick up everything, even in the background, and talk about it. So, yes, this is my bra strap. Mm -hmm. this, oh, by the way, this, this, this topic is about... Some men. Oh, I know some of y'all like you. She's always talking about men. Look at this girl. She's so miserable. Who hurt her feelings? Who made her better? I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter. And besides, a lot of you men. Men gossip more than women. Men gossip more than women. The only difference between your gossip as a man and my gossip. Your gossip about women is the same as talking about women because some of you guys you out there you running through these women like you running through your underwears and your clothes you running through them like you jumping over barriers and running and and and, and, and running for safe safety you running through them like you running through your enemies mm. and when you go sit down and talk about them it's not on video it's not on video the difference between your gossip and my gossip is that mine is public, open, public about things that some of you brothers do. Just how you can go and gossip about women, some women, what they do. I'm doing the same thing here. This is my open, public gossip. So welcome to my very open, public gossip. Okay, y'all. Some African men... You know, all around the world, there are men, both men and women, who live a very loose, useless lifestyle, okay? They sleep around, they jump from one relationship to another like monkey, okay? You know, in this life, everybody have unfortunate relationships where some may not work, some may work, or whatever. That's different when you get, you get in a sound relationship with the intent to stay in that relationship, and individual differences or incompatibility make it you uh, uh, cause you guys to part is different. But for some men and women, they just can't be with one person, one opposite sex. They have to have multiple. Okay. Now, in the men community, in the community of loose men, hmm? I'm talking about the African brothers in the community of loose men. When I, you, you, you feel free to go make your video about women in the community of loose women. Mm -hmm. Feel free. Don't judge me because I want to talk about, you know, I want to talk about this subject concerning men, okay? If I feel like talking about women, I will. But right now, what I want to talk about is too important for me to pay attention to whatever you have to say about, oh, this girl, she always talking about men, she always bashing. No, this is not bashing, this is the truth. Public gossip, welcome. Some African men who are loose and don't and like to have multiple partners. You know, even though they like to have multiple partners, they want a woman that will be faithful. Like, every man wants a woman that will be faithful. You know that. Mm -hmm. But some of these loose men, they rather have a woman that they can control so much that she will never be able to cheat on them Never be able to have the opportunity to do anything to compete with him. Some of them are like that. These are the types I want to zoom in on. These types, some of them will go to Africa and get a country village girl. Illiterate. Never held a pen or a pencil. Don't know all the letters of the alphabet. Probably don't even know how to spell her own name. Having been to the city. Don't know anything about civilization. Nothing. She's just a village girl. Illiterate. They'll go and get these kind of village girls because when they bring them here, they can keep them in the house like some deserted rat 
and be feeding them cheese. Put them there just for sex and to have babies. Put them there, control them, make them to do all their laundry, iron all their clothes, even down to their drawers. Cook and clean and everything. They just put them in the house. These women don't know nothing. And why the women in the house, they speak that language to her because the, 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 it's, that's the only language she knows. She can't speak English, she can't speak anything. But that's his intention of getting a, a, a female like that. Bring her and put her there so he can tell her whatever he wants to tell her. She have no option but to believe it because she don't know nobody. She can't speak English. She can't stand up for herself. She can't do anything. So he tells her whatever he wants to tell her, however he wants it, do whatever he wants to do, however he wants to do it, whenever he wants to do it. Tell her he's going on business trips. And if you are guilty of this, I hope you're sharing this video with her. If she doesn't speak English, I hope you interpret what I'm saying and tell her that I'm guilty, I'm sorry, I'm going to change my ways. Because they will leave that woman in the house. Tell her they have two jobs to work going on business trip. Your two jobs and your business trip. You are going on business trip with other open legs. You are going on business trip with open wallet. You are going on business trips on fancy dinners with other women. You are going on business trip and having another whole family, two, three pregnant women. You are going on business trip and getting other women hair done, nails done, shopping for them, doing every paying their bills. You are going on business trip. You are working. You are working two, three jobs, and the other jobs are not actual jobs. You are actually going to take care of other women. The other job of banging other women. This is what you are doing to the people daughter you took from the village and come and put her down to be lying to her because you don't know anything. This is what some of you guys do. If you're watching that, say share with her and interpret to her what you're doing. Interpret to her. She deserves to know. Because some of you, in your dirty deeds, in your wicked ways of doing this, you won't even shop for her. If you shop for her, you will go to you will go to places like Walmart and buy the cheapest. Oh, not, not, not even Walmart. Oh my God, did I just say Walmart? You will go to the Goodwill store. You will go to thrift store and buy some raggedy stuff and bring it for her. Because I've seen women like this in the store. You see them, their hair not done. They look like this. My hair is actually done. Okay? Their nappy hair is all under some kind of head wrap. They probably got brown strap hanging. They got some raggedy clothes with some worn out neck that look like this is the only shirt she has. And you've been grabbing her by it and beating her behind up. I mean, the clothes don't match. She be having some raggedy shoes or slippers, some kind of dusty, dirty tennis shoes. You brought. I mean, you see these sisters. Oh my gosh, they treat them bad. They probably don't even take them to church or anywhere. Only where they go is the store because they got to get food. And you, some of them, they will take the women to the store and actually stay in the car because they don't want to. They don't want to identify with this woman at all. At all. I have seen this. I have seen this, truthfully speaking, and I know some of y'all know that this is true. They don't do anything for her. She's looking busted and at home. You do all the shopping for yourself because you want to make yourself look good to impress all those other women. This is what some of you guys do. You, it, it, It's just so sickening. Some brothers get these women and help them to better themselves, educate them, put them in programs to help be better educate them so they can at least, she can at least look out for her mom or her dad that she left at home, look out, look out for family. But no, you just bring her and put her down. You know that, that that's, that's, that's human trafficking, worst of all, sex trafficking. Huh? That's evil. That's unreasonable. You are a bastard. You are useless. Some of you guys, you do this just so you can live a loose lifestyle and leave the people daughter sitting there as your slave. Some of you guys, you have so much control over her to the point you won't even teach her how to drive. Some of you guys have so much control over her. She, you, you don't allow her to have any friends, let alone allow her to have a phone. Some of you guys, there's these women you bring them, they don't even know how to use a phone. You don't take her anywhere. You guard her during every occasion, like going to shopping and to buy food. You guard, you guard her like, like, like she's she's some kind of she's some kind of object. 
Okay? Not a not a valuable object because if she was valuable, you wouldn't be treating her like that. So some of y'all, you need to share this video. Set her down. If she can speak English, interpret what I'm saying to her and apologize for what you're doing because you will get... <laughs> Some of y'all will live this kind of life and treat the people daughter like this and bring her all kind of diseases. And when she's 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 noticing pure girl from the village, never been with a dirty prick like you. You bring and put her down and do these things to her. Now you've probably infected her with something. She's wondering, oh baby, speaking that language, something is wrong because this is not okay. You see what's going on here? Oh no, that's what happened to women when you come to America. It's normal. Do you even have all insurance taking her to see a doctor? You know, some of y'all, you don't even do that. You don't even buy her deodorant. She be smelling so bad. Nobody wants, wants any, no other man wants to look at her. She dress up. She look at her mess every day. If she goes to the store, no other man wants to look at her. Hmm? Why didn't you settle with all these women you walk running around with? Why didn't you choose one of them as your wife? Because you know, if you try that nonsense, they will soak you. They will serve you well. They will serve you well. We go take the people village daughter and come put her down. And she's probably thinking this is the way life's supposed to be. That's sad. Though. She's probably thinking this is the way life is supposed to be. That since she's in a nice apartment or house and... She's able to cook and clean and eat every day and watch TV that she's in heaven. But you know good and well what you're up to. The dirty ways that you don't you know your wife brings you favor. And when you take that favor and mistreat it, huh? you take that favor, you don't appreciate it, you abuse it. Don't you know that you'll get cursed? You will get cursed in return? You'll get nothing but curse in return. That's your favor. If you treat her good, you get more blessing. You get more blessing.